Well, how many uh, roughing the passer plays do you want to talk about? Because we got we got some to talk about tonight. Uh, Chris Jones, the roughing the pass play that wasn't roughing the passer. Atlanta, roughing the passer against Tom Brady that wasn't roughing the passer. I mean, just I get where the NFL's coming from on this. And, I, and again, I said this last week during the video that got completely muted. For whatever reason, but the NFL needs to completely overhaul their concussion protocol stance. And so far, it looks like, you know, uh, maybe it's a little bit too much. Um, you know, uh, like a little bit too much. Like this part right here with the players, you know, um, being penalized for football hits you know that that's just that's just not the way to go the concussion protocol that states where if you get a concussion in the game you have to sit out the rest of the game regardless that's fine that's perfectly fine but this other nonsense with the refs not ideal not ideal and it impacted a couple of games and I'm kind of angry about that but it is what it is like the Chiefs just beat the Raiders they had to come back to beat the Raiders in a wild, wild game that I don't think I expected to be a 30 to 29 game, but it ended up being a 30 to 29 game. So, you know, Ravens Bengals was just incompetence. Justin Tucker was the guy last night in that game. I mean, my goodness, how many points do you want to leave on the field? Both teams left points on the field making dumb, 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 dumb decisions. Just, ugh, it was rough. And of course the Rams, like aside from like a couple of plays, Matthew Stafford was getting harassed the entire day by D-Law, Micah Parsons, the whole Cowboys defense. I mean, just Cooper Rush didn't really have to do anything. Like Again, it's just like, come on. The Eagles stay unbeaten. You know, their defense was on point again yesterday. Yeah, you know, Benjamin came in um, to make a big-time touchdown. But in the end, that Cardinals defense could not stop Jalen Hurts when it mattered. Like, man's, I don't think Jalen Hurts even threw for a touchdown this game. And he still was able to keep putting the Eagles on his back. And he just won that game 49ers. They took care of the Panthers real easy. Matt Rule is gone, by the way. Yeah, he got fired for being completely incompetent. When you let when you let Jimmy Garoppolo and Jeff Wilson, you know, you know, and all them cats on the 49ers just run wild on you, you're bound to get fired. And Matt Rule, all this man needs to do now is just sit back and collect his money. Should not have been a seven-year contract like that. My goodness. Seahawks and Saints in a thriller. Taysom Hill versus Geno Smith. I don't know why it was a thriller. But it ended up being a high-scoring game. And then the Titans, they beat the Commanders. Carson Wentz looks like absolute trash. Derrick Henry out there beasting once again, I think. And, I mean, you know, he had multiple touchdowns in this game over 100 yards Titans finally in control of the AFC South Vikings had to fend off a comeback from the Bears which is wild and one of the great one of the best catches I think I've seen in, in a long time happened in this game uh, with a one hander and then the Jets Sauce Gardner I told you he was in the thumbnail for a reason this week <laughs> Sauce Gardner and the boys out in New Jersey, the Jets are three and two, and they whooped up on the Dolphins. Teddy Bridgewater had to go out of the game. Skylar Thompson had to come in. The Dolphins defense looked like absolute garbage against the running game. You know, Zach Wilson and company were running the ball all over the Dolphins, and it's just like, whoa, wait a minute, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't. New York Jets? This isn't the same New York Jets we've been seeing. What's going on out here? But it is what it is. 
and again, you know, the, again, the phantom uh, play call in which the refs just was like, Jerome Boger was just like, I, right, Brady, he barely got touched. He barely got a little light tap on him. Call a penalty. I don't know if it would have mattered or not, but who knows, because the Buccaneers do defeat the Falcons, and that that penalty happened with like three minutes left to go, but I mean, who knows, in all honesty. And then the Bills, like, without the turnovers, without the turnovers the Bills had, I, I guarantee you the Bills would have put up like 60 points on the Steelers, because I mean, it was that bad. That whooping was that bad. Steelers can only muster three points in this game. Three of them. That's just disappointing. Speaking of disappointing, the Jags. Oh my goodness. How do you lose to the Texans? Again, this game was absolutely garbage for most of it. It was like 6-6 the entire game until the Texans finally got something into the end zone. Uh, Chargers of the Browns. Also a game of incompetence. Both teams had missed kicks. More so the Browns than anything because the Browns lost the game via missed kick. But then the Chargers were just like, you know, Brandon Staley was like, I right, let me be let me be the incompetent one today and decide to make multiple boneheaded decisions. You know, like going forward on fourth down when you need to punt, going forward on fourth down when you don't need to, doing things that just aren't working. Just this this just isn't it, man. Like what is what are you doing? Like, like the most egregious was like giving the giving the ball Browns back the ball with the chance to win the game. Like that that was just one of the dumbest things I think I've ever seen in my entire life. And um, Giants Packers, wow, Saquon, Daniel Jones, the Giants defense. In what world are they stopping Aaron Rodgers? They did that. Multiple plays inside the 10 yard line in the last drive in which the Giants were able to make the stops needed. And again, they made the stops throughout the game. But when it came time in the clutch, that Giants defense has looked improved, man. They've looked very much improved. They have no old line. Like, like, they barely have an offensive line. Like, they were able to, you know, get something going. But, I mean, even with the injuries to this team, like, the Giants were still winning games. And it's just like, I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. We're going to have a wild time in the NFC East then. And then the last game to go over is on Thursday night. Probably one of the worst games. And I told y'all, when I put the preview out during the game, I put the preview out for week five during the game and I told y'all I told y'all this game was gonna be terrible oh my goodness Matt Ryan and company on the Colts how in the world did you win this game oh I'll tell you the Broncos let's ride into incompetence let's ride into boneheaded decisions you got Russell Wilson looking like an all-timers patient out here mans don't know what to do trying to throw the ball Miss multiple, multiple big time plays. We're talking the Colts. They ain't got no O line to save Matt Ryan's life either. Like it's even worse, you know, for the Colts. Cause I mean, ugh, I don't even want to think about it. And you know, twelve to nine in overtime, Broncos fans getting up and leaving. At the end of the game and whatnot, like di like during overtime, not not at the actual end, like during overtime when the game was still going on, like I don't know how y'all subjected yourselves to this. Like this was awful, genuinely one of the worst games of football that has been played in quite some time at the pro level. Like we've seen some bad bad games, but I don't think I don't think this one has eclipsed this one in quite some time like this this game right here was garbage and now the Broncos are probably going to be on prime I still see Broncos games on prime time and I just I just don't I just don't want I don't want it go can't we do something else please 
Start flexing now, NFL, please. But yeah, um, the defensive, the defensive, you know, um, roughing the passers is just too much, and the concussions are, you know, there were there probably were multiple concussions on Sunday, so multiple guys they were able to sit out, and the NFL is still insane. Like I don't even know how we're only like a fourth of the way into the season, and not much can be said right now because everything is full of parody. Everything is full of weirdness that just it, that just does not compute with my eyes and my ears. It just doesn't compute with me. Like the Giants being four, four and one does not compute. Like what? What do you mean? And like I mean, I'm, I'm just I just don't know, man. Week six is gonna be big though. I feel. What about y'all? How did y'all feel about um, some of these roughing the passer penalties that were phantom calls? You know, the Chiefs Raiders game being an egregious one, and the big one being the Falcons Bucks game. That was probably the worst one. And how do you feel about your teams right now? You know, just like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, do all what you need to do. And I'll see you all later on with more NFL content. See you on Thursday.